Welcome to Juicy Gossip, the talk show where we debunk all the latest trends with your host, Corey. Hello and welcome to today's episode of the Juicy Gossip. Today we'll be debunking detox diets. We have two guests with us, Kareem and Adriana, who have been subject to celebrity endorsements. First of all guys, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming here today. So I'm wondering, what made you guys believe that detox diets were right for you? Well, I went on this detox diet because I felt like I really needed this cleanse. The world is just full of so many toxins and that's the reason why people get sick, right? So I just felt like I need to get rid of all these toxins and also Kim K did it. So, and I absolutely love it. The marketing of these type of diets relies on specific use of words like recharge, reset, flush out. But what does that even mean? So back to Kareem, what were your intentions when you started a detox diet? Over the summer, I gained a lot of weight and I just don't feel so good about it. So I decided to go on this diet to lose some weight. I'm sure most of us have heard of the widespread, largely marketed, trendy detox diet. Either through social media and celebrity endorsement, or from that person in spin class who swears by it. Detox diets are marketed for positive health benefit claims, like so-called toxin elimination and weight loss. But there is very little to no clinical human evidence to support these claims. A handful of animal studies have shown enhanced liver detoxification as a result of detox dieting, but even these studies have commonly used flawed methods and insufficient sample sizes. In this video, we will be focusing on two of the most popular forms of detox dieting, tea detoxing, otherwise known as a tea tox, and juice cleanses. A tea tox involves adding a blend of herbal or green teas to an already healthy diet, whereas common juice cleanses involve substituting solid foods for an exclusively liquid diet. There are arguments that amidst the two, tea toxing is healthier seeing as a liquid-only diet does not have the ability to maintain healthy functioning of a human body for too long. Liquid-only diets can put our immune systems at risk and cause us to become sick. Ironically enough, this is the opposite of the claims that juice cleanses are marketed for. On the other hand, juice cleanses are simply nothing but blended up fruits and vegetables. They are supposed to help you with getting rid of your body's toxins and become a newer, more purified version of you. In one trial of a study, a group of women went on a low-calorie lemon detox diet to lose body weight. Though the woman did lose weight, for each pound that was lost, it was not lost from the fat. According to an expert on body composition training, the person following a low-calorie diet, for each pound they lose, 20-30% to 30 of it was lost from the muscle. So even though eating your daily recommended portion of vegetables and fruits can be beneficial for certain diseases, Drinking them in liquid form has not shown any effect on people's health. Instead, it would be more beneficial if you get your fiber from actual foods such as whole wheat bread, beans, lentils, sweet potatoes, and more. So why would a person undergo a detox diet? Well, it's been the new trend these days. Celebrities like Kim Kardashian and Gwyneth Paltrow have proclaimed its benefits all over social media. These benefits include losing a lot of weight in a short period of time without the need to exercise, improvement in digestion, and a better immune system. However, does juice cleansing really lead to all these benefits? And what are the drawbacks to a detox diet? Let's explore further. Let's start off with losing weight without exercising. So yes, to respond to that claim, a juice cleanse diet can cause you to lose weight without exercising, but it is done through starvation. And we'll talk about this more later on. Does it give you a rise in energy? For the most part, it does not. A detox diet restricts your calorie intake and it may leave you with that I just got out of bed feeling all day long. However, this experience may vary for each individual. What about improving your immune system? As mentioned earlier, this is definitely not the case. A juice cleanse diet may actually decrease the function of your immune system. So now let's talk about the drawbacks to this diet. Contrary to popular belief, detox diets can be quite dangerous. One danger with all detox dieting is that you're not consuming enough calories. 
One study found that detox diets only have approximately 800 to 1200 calories. For the average person who needs 2000 to 2500 calories, this is simply not sufficient. This low calorie intake can send the body into starvation mode, meaning that the body's metabolism slows down. This may lead to symptoms such as dizziness, headaches, and even loss of consciousness. But when a person comes off this diet, they are more likely to eat unhealthily as they have been starved of their favorite foods for so long. Like they say, bad habits do die hard. Evidence suggests that juice cleansing can cause oxalate nephropathy, which can eventually lead to kidney failure. Oxalate is a toxin commonly found in fruits and vegetables. Many juice cleanses have large amounts of vitamin C. Vitamin C binds to oxalate and cannot be transported out of the body. Thus, it circulates in the body and has to be removed from the kidney, which is not ideal. Your alternative options depend on why someone chose the juice cleanse or detox diet in the first place. Detox diets are marketed on the basis of flushing out toxins. But this idea that the toxins are being built up and just waiting to be extracted is false. If your goal is detoxification, you should know that our body has organs that detoxify for us already. Our skin, kidneys, and liver gets rid of waste through urination and sweating. In a single day, your kidney filters about 180 liters of blood. Most of the water and other filtered substances are put back into your body, while the unnecessary stuff, such as waste or toxins, are flushed out by urine. Your liver is the body's primary filtration system. It detoxifies harmful substances that enter your body, including medication, drugs, food additives, and many other substances that we ingest on a regular basis. The liver starts this process by using oxygen and enzymes to burn toxins. This process is called oxidation. At the end of this process, these unwanted substances become less toxic and are almost ready to be excreted by the body. The liver then puts these chemicals through another process called conjugation. In conjugation, oxidized chemicals are combined with more enzymes that fully prepare these harmful substances to be removed by the body. After the liver is finished with these substances, they are less toxic and are packaged to be removed by the body. So let your kidneys and liver do all the cleansing and all the detoxing for you. You don't need juice or tea detox. You don't need to drink bottles of juice 7 days a week to get rid of the harmful stuff in your body. Your kidney and liver do it all for you. No diet or drink can replace this function. But what you can do is help your liver and kidney out a little bit. You can start by eating a well-balanced diet that's high in fiber and protein. Coupling a balanced diet with routine exercise and moderating the amount of alcohol and drugs you consume are effective ways to help your liver out. If your goal is weight loss, now you know that starvation is not the answer. Starving your body may help you lose weight, but it will most likely come with other complications. It is not worth compensating your overall health for the sake of weight loss. So now what do you guys think? Are you shocked? Ugh, I've never felt so betrayed by the Kardashians before.